Hey everybody, welcome to Art Club. So excited to have you here. This week's all about perspective and we're gonna be making some kind of like optical illusions here. It's gonna be real cool. So I'm excited to do this with you guys. Um, our first project that we're gonna be doing, as you can see, um, is this sort of like, it's if you're walking through a tunnel under an aquarium. And so that, like how would that look if you were walking where there, there's that vanishing point at the end. Um, so let me transition over and we'll show you step by step how we're going to get this set up. Okay, so you can see that I'm still not done with this example copy here, um, but I'm going to continue working on this one. However, for right now, I'm going to journey back. We're going to rewind to the beginning point. So my first thing is I'm going to need paper. I am going to need my Sharpie marker and all the fun markers that I got, um, as well as, you know, if you've got other fun colors at home too, bring them on. That sounds great. I already need some kind of straight edge. Um, I'm going to be using a ruler for my straight edge, but if you've got like a straight edge piece of cardboard or folder or whatever you got is totally fine. We want it to be a little bit longer because it is going to need to connect corner to corner on our piece of paper because in fact, that's actually step number one. So here we go. Let's connect corner to corner using our Sharpie. And just try to line it up as best you can. So it's going from one corner to the other corner. Hold it still, because we don't want it wiggling around as you're drawing the line. Try to watch out too, if your fingers are over it, boom, boom, now you've got bumps in your line. We don't want that either. So very carefully, making sure my fingers are out of the way. And then I'm going to come from this direction to meet back down. And there we go. Corner to corner that way. And we've got to do corner to corner this way as well. So matching that up and matching this up. Here we go. All right. Drawing that line. Fingers are out of the way. I might need to scooch it because those cords are in the way a little bit over here. There we go. Step number one. Now, as a reminder with these videos, I try to keep them short because we don't want to necessarily always be watching really long 25 minute videos. Um, so if you need to at any point though, pause it, rewind it, rewatch it, you've got control, right? So feel free to do that if needed. The next step then is we're going to draw little dashes along the bottom of our paper only. Now, we want them to be about every two inches, but I know maybe we don't have a ruler, okay, and that's fine. So I'm going to show you guys the way that I do this so that I get it as even as possible, even if I don't have a ruler. So I'm going to kind of look at where the center of my paper is, and I'm going to draw just a little, whoop, little dash right there. You guys see how tiny I'm making this? Like little tiny dash. Okay. So now I'm going to try to get five dashes in here. So they're going to be about like that. Boom, boom. So I want them to all be about the same. So now from here, I'm going to look, okay, it's going to go about right there. And you guys, if these are not perfect, you're never going to be able to tell at the end. So don't worry too much. So, and then about right there. And I can tell already, like, that's a little, you know, this is a little bit bigger than that is. I'm not worried about it. Not worried. All right, now on this side, let's see, it's going to be about there and there. So here's one of those little dashes, and here's the other of the little dashes. So this is what the bottom only of my paper is looking like right now, just little tiny dashes down there. Our next goal is going to be to connect each of these dashes with the center point. I'm going to take my straight edge again. We're going to be using this a lot today. Straight edge, and I'm going to match the center of the X down with this first dash that I had here. Once again, make sure fingers are out of the way. There we go. There's my first line. So here's my second little dash. So lining it up again. Obviously, the angle's going to be a little different this time. Here we go on down. There it is. All right, this one's going to be coming down pretty much centered because that was what I was trying to do. Might be a little off. Not going to worry about it. There we go. Two more. 
Let's see, center to, where's my dash? There it is. Okay. And last one, center to this guy over here. Boom. All right, we've got part of our flooring done. Got a little bit more flooring to put in, though, because this is going to look like checkers, right? So we want it to be this kind of checker design, which means we still got to put in these horizontal lines. So that's coming your way next. So I want to make sure that my straight edge is as even with the bottom of the paper as possible. Like we don't want it like that or like that. Just try to get it. Once again, I'm just eyeballing it. I am not measuring it. As long as it's close enough for my eyes right now, it's going to be close enough for my eyes later when it's done. So there's one line. And then I'm going to move it back. And here's another line. Move it back. And I'm just going to keep on going all the way back until we get to that, you know, where it turns into a point. And notice how I'm going a little, like each of these is a little bit smaller as I'm going back into space. You don't necessarily have to do that. It's still going to look cool, um, even if you don't. But it does add the effect of like, oh my gosh, you're actually going into a tunnel because the farther things are away from us, the smaller they look. So it looks cool when those are smaller as they get farther away. Okay. So our next step is we're going to color this checkerboard in. I'm going to be using black um, to color mine in, but you can use color for this. No reason why you couldn't. Um, so just start on a square here. Get it colored in. Try to be mindful of those lines. You know, the, the sharper those edges are, the cooler that this is going to look when you're done. And now that I've colored that one in, I need to leave the ones that are directly touching it. We got to leave those white. Okay, so I'm going to look at the diagonal and I'm going to color in this one next. Once again, you don't have to be using the black. You could use different colors. But our goal then, let's see, so I wouldn't color this one, I'm skipping that one, I'm moving on to this one. I am going to show you guys on this one over here. Now it's not completely done, right? I've got a few more to color in down here. But you can see what that looks like then as we continue. Now we don't want this video today forever. So I'm going to move us on to the next step. So here we go. The next part is we want to have these archways. Um, so it looks like we're in a tunnel underneath an aquarium. So we need to draw these vertical lines first. I like to draw three. I think it just works nicely for this piece of paper. See one, two, three. Um, but you can do more. You can do less. You are the artist. I'm just here to inspire and to give you ideas. So this time I'm going to make sure that my, um, my straight edge is lining up with the side of my paper as, as straight up and down. Once again, we don't want it like this and we don't want it like that. So as straight up and down as we can eyeball it. So I'm looking, yep, that looks about right. And I'm kind of closer to that middle X and there we go. Now I want to mimic this line on this side so that they're about the same. Once again, if you have a ruler and you want to measure this so it is precise, cool. You definitely can, but I know we don't all necessarily have one. So I'm going to eyeball that and whoopsies. There we go. All right. Here comes my second line on this side. And there we go. And on this side, once again, just kind of eyeballing it, making it seem like it's going the same distance. There we go. And I'm going to go for one more close to the edge here, though. Made these a little wider than my other one, and that is totally okay. So once we've got these lines ready to go, our last step for for the perspective portion anyway, is to go, gonna be to connect them up at the top. So what I like to do is kind of just like air draw 
the arch. Okay, it's going to be kind of like that. So it's going to go up about this high, and I make a little dot right in the center. Now, with that dot, I can go like this to connect it to that side, and I come back to that dot, and I try to make a similar arch onto this side, and sometimes i got to fix it up a little bit. Oopsies! Markers are trying to fall here. So there we go. We've got one arch. Now let's see the other one. Kind of go right here. And there we go. Connect it to that one. And rotate my paper here. Make it a little easier for me to draw this. And there we go. And we can see for this one, there's no way we're going to see that top part. So I'm just going to do a little arch. Boom. And a little arch. Boom. And we are set up to go. From here is where you are going to take your artistic creativity and have fun with this. So, of course, we want to finish our checkerboard design down here. Maybe you put some seaweed kind of like along the path that you're looking at. There might be jellyfish. There might be sharks. There could be, um, what else, the dolphin. There could be starfish and, and, and seahorses and a coral reef. And who knows? You get to add all the cool stuff that you want to. Once you've got that all added, um, you can go ahead and color the rest of it in blue. If you're like, that is way too much blue, I will not be coloring in that within marker. You can always use watercolor too. Just be careful so it doesn't like streak uh, what you already got there. Um, but these are going to turn out so cool, you guys. Don't forget that once you are finished, it's always an amazing thing to share our work with others. Um, so in our slides, down where it says the Art Hall of Frame, if you click on that, it's going to pop up our Hall of Frame. All you got to do is come on in and claim a frame by putting on your name down at the bottom, first name, last initial, and then you're going to go insert image and take a picture with your Chromebook camera. So it takes a few seconds. And then we get to see what everybody else has been creating in here. All right, you guys, I can't wait to see how these turn out. Have so much fun. Bye.